Hello everybody, it's me RJ here again with another video for you guys. Today I wanted to do a, a review over these um, Reebok shoes that I have. They're called All Terrain Super. I have owned these shoes since 2015. And I have run Conquer the Gauntlet in 2015, uh, Warrior Dash 2015, um, I believe Warrior Dash 2016. Um, Man, Conquer the Gauntlet in 2017, a terrain race in 2018, and I don't think I ran a race in 2019. Maybe I did. I think I ran another terrain race in 2019. I've done so many I can't remember, but I've done them all in these shoes. I've taken these shoes to uh, Arkansas and hiked the Ozarks. Um, I've probably put an easy 50-60 miles in, hi in hiking with these. In each race that I ran, uh, Mud Run, Obstacle Course, OCR race, each one that I ran was over, was three miles up to uh, 4.1 miles. So these shoes have been used quite a bit. Um, and I wanted to do a review on them since I've owned them that long. Uh, they're wonderful shoes. I really really like using them. This little area right here helps when you're climbing ropes. If you can see the little stubs, you can put squeeze like that on the rope and they grip the rope and it'll help propel you up the rope. If you don't have enough upper body strength, you can use your legs here um, with those grips right there. And um, they're excellent. They have excellent grip on rocks. When I was hiking, walking through, walking on boulders and climbing up rocks, excellent. And uh, if you look right here, you can see right here, these are little drain holes. And when you get water in, inside the shoe, it will actually drain out of these little holes right here. The only negative I have is sometimes if you're in a sandy area with, or little gravel, real tiny gravel, They'll get lodged up inside those holes and then they won't drain uh, properly and sometimes they make their way up into the bottom of your shoe through those drain holes that's my only negative other than that i really really love these shoes and if anybody out there does ocr racing look up reebok all-terrain super and you'll find these shoes they'll pop up not this style they don't make this style anymore they have new styles but not this particular style anymore and uh out of all the years I've used these and all the miles I've put on them, they still have tons and tons of tread left on the bottom. And the only parts that are that the material is starting to fall apart is right here in this little area. You see there's a little tear there. And then there's a little tear here. And the only reason why those are there is because I was out hiking in the Ozarks one day and I slipped on a rock that had some moss on it that was really slippery and when I did I slipped down and the sides of my shoes hit some jagged sticks and tore into them it stabbed into them like that <clears throat> so that's why those are like that but anyway guys I just want to do this review I thought that uh, I could do a good review on these since I've owned them for so long and um, I'd give them a 5 out of 5 stars. I really, really, really like the style. I like the flexibility. I like the lightness of the shoe, the comfortability, the amazing grip on rocks and mud. Just not on slime. It won't grip slime uh, or slimy moss or anything like that. But man, it, 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 they're awesome shoes. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, make sure you check out some of my mud run videos that I use this shoe on and you can do that by clicking up top here they'll be posted somewhere on this side or this side um, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like this before I go I've also ran on concrete for about 20 miles in these and they're like a minimal minimalist shoe so if you're used to running in minimalist shoes grab these pick them up you won't be disappointed. Uh, they are a little pricey. These ones were, I think these ones cost me $129, but uh, 
they're on sale right now. I, I just went on Reebok's website and they have some on sale for 79 bucks and that's not bad. One of these days I'll get me a new pair but my feet aren't growing anytime soon and these still have a lot of wear left to them. Not bad for buying these in 2015 and putting that many miles on them and those that many and running that many races in them. Uh, excellent. I still get can get a lot of wear and tear out of them. And they look so new because when I get home, <coughs> sorry about the text. When I get home from the mud runs, I immediately take a bucket and put laundry soap in a bucket and rinse these off and then stick these in the laundry soap bucket for a, a day or two take them out rinse them off then i'll throw them in the washer and and wash them and then let them air dry anyway guys thanks for watching this has gone on long enough we'll see you in the next video later